This is Tyler with GP Knives, and I'm here with Jim McNair of Kershaw, and we're going to go over the new ZT 2021 releases. So, Jim, first up, uh, I'm going to hit you up and ask, what is your pocket carry today? So today, actually, I, I have the ZT 0707 in my pocket, nice. and that's kind of become a go-to for me, especially being left-handed. I, I like the... As, as ugly as it is to reverse the clip, I, this one works pretty well for me. Um, so it tends to be between that and uh, lately I've been carrying one of the new composite dividends. Oh, very cool. Depends on that, the day. That is my daily carry today. I got awesome. the M390 dividend. It's great EDC. Yeah, we, we like that one. It's kind of slim and easy to carry. Kind of leakish, honestly. Yeah, that's what we, we've said that a lot. It's sort of a modern take on the leak. So let's jump on into the new ZT for 2021. What do you got for me? Okay, so first up, I'll show you kind of our new flagship knife. And I will apologize in advance. This sample is not 100% correct. We're a little ahead of schedule right now, but this is the 0762. So this has a, a carbon fiber handle and a number of different titanium parts that on the final product will actually be anodized. So um, in this case, the blade will be a, a satin finish with stonewashed flats. Um, and it's a little hard to see here, but this knife features the tune detent system. I'm trying to get it to focus. And so you can see there's actually two layers here. There's a, there's a top layer of, of metal here that's, that's actually that's titanium. And so that will be a nice anodized blue. And then I have the layer underneath actually is is steel and that's your tuned detent bar. So your detent is on the front side of the blade. And that again, for those who don't know, tuned detent system moves the detent hole to the front side of the blade and then creates a separate little detent bar that sits in the front handle. And that controls your detent rather than the doing it on the lock bar itself. So what that accomplishes is that you can, you don't have to worry as much about where your fingers rest. So your fingers can be resting on the bar and the knife will still open. Nice. So, that's kind of the cool thing about the tuned detent system. Um, so this knife will have a 20 CV blade. Um, we have a bent titanium clip. We, we have a titanium subframe lock. So our, our patented subframe lock technology, which is a lot of fun on this knife as well, which makes it really light for as big as it is. Again, it's got that full carbon fiber scale. And again, it will be a black carbon fiber. So it'll look a lot more like this side here. Sure. So, and I believe the weight on that is going to be sub three ounces. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Real it's, close. It's, it's so that's a, a nice light weight light, for the size. Comfortable knife for how big yeah. it is. Agreeable. I, I mean, <laughs> I agree. Yes. It is agreeable. <laughs> it is agreeable. And I, and if I'm remembering right, the tune detent is also on the 0707 that you showed. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's something we're really trying to combat that a lot of people struggle with with some. Frame locks and subframe locks is having your fingers on the bar and squeezing too hard on the detent ball and making it hard to open the knife. If you don't know the mechanics of it, but yeah, any pressure on that detent ball is going to stop it from opening. So yeah. moving it to the other side is perfect. So we, we, we like the mechanism. We think it's been something that's kind of cool. So we, we put it on this knife as well. Yeah. Um, so that's going to have an MSRP of $400. And yeah, that is the 0762. Next up of our new knives is something that I'm really excited about. We've wanted to do this for a while. This is the 0990. So again, kind of like our 0770 is based on the original 777. This is based on the 999. Um, so there's a couple of interesting things about this knife. And again, this is a prototype and you can see this, this will be a black piece instead of a shiny one. But overall, this prototype is, is very much correct. So this is meant to be I wouldn't call it particularly, I wouldn't call it value priced, but it's not the, it's not going to be the most expensive thing we make. It's going to have an MSRP of $275. So it's a few bucks more than say like a, like a 770 or a, uh, an 0450. Mm -hmm. But it's got a lot of really cool things going on. So we worked really hard to try to make, keep that same kind of look and feel as the original triple nine, but to make this easy to carry, relatively slim and relatively light. So in saying that, the interesting thing about this is, I'll just say it right up front, these parts here are actually made out of steel. Yeah. I know some people will say, why didn't you make that out of titanium? That's the first thing I'm going to hear, and I'll tell you right now. <laughs> because these are actually, it's hard to show on screen, but this is a relatively small knife. This is a three and a quarter inch blade. 
-hmm. And these pieces are small and they're actually relatively thin. They're about a 16th of an inch thick. And so to make these out of titanium, we would lose a lot of that rigidity that we have. And this would flex a lot more and it could cause problems with, with the blade rocking on the lock. And so we made a conscious decision in this case to make these out of steel. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, we used the material that made sense for this knife. We, we could have made it out of titanium, but we'd have, we'd have had to make it a lot thicker. We really wanted this to be EDC friendly and something you could carry every day. We have a nice deep carry pocket clip on it, carbon fiber scales on both sides. But we also maintained that, that same kind of overlay that we had on the, on the triple nine. Mm-hmm. And so it really maintains that, that look and feel, you know, we put a hole in the blade instead of, instead of the big carbon fiber inlay, we have zero tolerance. Um, we, we have zero tolerance. It's going to be molded right into the backspacer. So we have the, the logo up here. Nice. And um, again, just a neat EDC friendly knife. It's running on KVT ball bearings. It is a liner lock. So that it's an inset liner lock, which is inside of the handle. Again, much like the 770. And then just really nice snap and action on it. And maintaining that floating bridge construction that was the signature of the of the triple nine. And so that floating bridge... That serves as the blade stop. If you actually open it up halfway, you can see it's just, it's fully open there. So the stop pin is actually floating in between these two liner pieces. And we have a small screw on either side, keeping everything together. But it, it looks real thin and small, but again, because it's steel, it's very rigid. Yeah. So it's structurally everything it needs to be. And then again, on the, uh, on the original, on the original triple nine, this is all a solid piece of titanium in this case to make it more manufacturable and something that everybody can have and carry. We've decided to make this with two liners and a, and a backspacer. Mm -hmm. So actually one of my favorite new things that we've done this year, um, this, again, like I said before, we'll have an MSRP of $275 and obviously those get discounted a bit from there. And so that's the 0990. That also has a 20 CV blade. Uh, the original, the first knife as well, the 762, is also CPM 20 CV in keeping with what we've been doing with our ZT lineup. I think all three of the new ZTs are 20 CV, if I remember. They are. We still offer some legacy products with S35VN um, mm -hmm. and a few other steels, but in general, when we make a new knife in ZT, we decided we're going to go full premium. And even for a, a less expensive ZT that's in the lineup, like say like the, the 357, Yep. We still make it with a 20 CV blade because we feel like it should yeah. be premium being a ZT product. So then moving on, um, our other new ZT for this year, we finally made a black 308. So this is the 0308 BLKTS. And what's interesting about this is it's a little different than what we've done in the past with tiger striping. So this is instead of being a, a black DLC finish, this is actually a black washed finish. And then we mm -hmm. tiger stripe that. So it gives it a bit more of a gray look overall. Um, it's it's cool knife. It kind of matches what we do with the, with the uh, with the pivot hardware, which is a kind of a black wash finish as well. Mm -hmm. And then moving on to the backside, we have the same fully textured titanium handle, um, and this is a black DLC finish on that. It's a nice, durable, good finish. Um, we have a reverse, reversible pocket clip, and again, that has the same three-hole pattern where you can fit some of the aftermarket clips out there on the market. So I think Starling Gear does some. I know Steel Flame has done them. There's a number of different companies that do aftermarket clips for these knives and you can get them and they'll fit that three hole pattern. Front handle is a black G10. Again, nice and deeply textured and it's running on KVT ball bearings. And for anyone who isn't familiar with the 0308, um, one of the cool things we did with this knife is if you look at the backside, we actually have wrench flats. It's custom pivot hardware that we make in house, but we have flats on either side of this large disc. And so you can actually adjust this with a half inch combo wrench or if you're if you're in a pinch, you could use a you could use an adjustable wrench, like a crescent wrench. So it makes it really easy to adjust in the field if you ever have a loose pivot. And again, just a cool, big, solid knife. Throwback for ZT, back to our roots. And this has a four hundred dollar MSRP. Yeah, kind of throwing back to the original three hundred series. Yep, exactly. And this is really meant to be an evolution of the three hundred series. It's meant to be. Kind of yeah. our take on what would we do if we if it was designed today. And real quick, just so people can see, this is the <laughs> previous production <laughs> of the 0308 in the uh, I, I believe it's desert tan and yeah, then a I stone think we call it coyote seat. tan or something like that. Coyote tan, yep. And then plain tie on the back.
And so that's what we have for the ZT lineup this year. Very nice. It all looks good. Can't wait to get my hands on it. Yeah. I really am excited to see all the new stuff, some great stuff in the Kershaw and ZT lineup. And uh, I'm glad that you could join us, Jim, and show us all the cool stuff. Well, thank you for your time and have a great day. Yeah, you too. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, subscribe to our channel and like the video below and follow us on social media for updates on all new products.